We call it Strider. The idea is to replace a human where it's dangerous for people rather than having humans exposed to those dangerous situations. Hello, my name is Terry Peckham. I am the director of the Digital Integration Centre of Excellence here at Saskatchewan Polytechnic. We are here today to introduce our new quadruped robotic dog um, in the industrial mechanics setting, which is sort of an industrial setting where we hope to see this dog being utilized in industry. Robots are making a large impact in our world in a lot of different ways. And so we're here to provide tools both for our students to learn, number one, and then number two is for our industry partners in research, uh, giving them access to tools they may not be able to afford to prototype out ideas to see if this is really a path they want to go down with certain technologies depending on what they're looking at. I really like when it goes up the stairs. I think the stairs, every time, even now, I'm just, every time it goes up, I'm just pumped. It's, it's super cool. There's a lot of programming that has to take place. Our first trial into here, uh, he fell down the stairs. So sometimes it's teaching the dog what the environment is like, how it has to respond to the various sensors it has. And so that's all part of the game. And, uh, when we took the first dog into a mine, we had to reprogram its paws because it wouldn't walk on the uneven ground. It was used to cement. And so out of the box, they do certain things. And then how do you readapt that to fit the industrial application you're trying to achieve? I'm the first person at DICE who's been looking at it, so I've been working with uh, Ghost Robotics, who is the, the, who we got the dog from, uh, and uh, adding automation to it, uh, building sort of a knowledge base for our future projects, so I've been doing a lot of documenting and things like that. The idea is a quantum sensor works very similar to what an MRI currently does in the medical field. The mine walls in potash uh, collapse, and so they want to know if we can predict when those mine walls will collapse, and so having a high resolution image of a mine wall will help us to develop some AI that can better predict when those walls are going to collapse so that the mine companies can then take the interventions in a planned order rather than as a response. One, go. As a matter of fact, this goes all the way down to the high school, so I'm not sure if you've heard of our robot rumble that we have here at Saskatchewan Polytechnic, uh, but we try to engage kids at a young age and get them involved, and this is sort of the next level robot rumble dog. So. We're looking at how can we take some of those kids and maybe you know, entice them to come and do some of the advanced courses we have here. Uh, and this is a possible career path for them. He's good to, I think, minus 30 or 40. He can swim with the right attachment, so you can actually make that one swim. Uh, not common, like I said, not, not a normal type of uh, thing, which makes it kind of unique in terms of what we can and can't do with it.